all right guys so today i want to show you one new thing i learned about in designing is to use photoshop cc pscc you can see it here that's the icon in case you want to download it from play store so i'll show you how to use this now the major thing i use this for is to blend background is to blend background i use it to blend background so how did i do this just open it once you open it then click on it will open like this these are the things i've been doing so your home won't open like this all you just have to do is to click on this plus this thing here and to um, start a new project click on photo gallery mm, photo library go to your this thing and you will now look for the image you want to blend even if it's a background you want to blend or a personal image you want to blend anything now let me see mm, okay let me let me bring in image but first of all make sure the image you want to blend if it's not a background image like uh, there's different between background image and a normal image now if it's a normal image that you want to blend let me show you what i mean by normal image where is my pix art where's my pix art if it's a normal image you want to blend then make sure you save the image first as png before importing it I'm looking for my piece art. All right, this is my piece art. Now, this is an image I have already removed background. It's transparent, so I just import it now. So I want to blend this image in a background. So what you do? You see this um, this button that looks like and click on it. Once you click on it, you see fade. This is a new way of blending image in your Pizzle lab, like using Photo CC, Photoshop CC. So once you click on it, so you can see, it will give you this option. So you just adjust it the way you want it to be. Just adjust it the way you want it to be. So after adjusting it, even if it's, you want to blend this part of it, you can see the option here. So, but the one I click is this one. This is the one I click. This one here. So just adjust this. So I just want to blend this down part. Now you see the difference. So now I will then click OK. You can see the OK button here. Just click on it. And I will click done. So once I click done, I will save it. So now you have to save it in your system in your phone sorry now to save in your phone click on this icon here once you click on it click save to gallery then change from jpeg to png then after you switch to png you see that this ok button is not highlighted so for you to highlight the ok button you have to tap on the image what does that mean by that this is the image i want to save so you have to tap on it so i will tap on it you can see the ok button has been highlighted so i will click ok Now let's go to my pixel app. I'll go to my pixel app. Now this is a background. Let's say this is a background. Then I'll import the image. Once I import it, you can see it's already blending in the background. It's already blending. It's already blending. You can see the difference. Now let me bring the other image. The image I use. The one that I did not um, work on. Work on. So there's it. This is my piece art. Now this is the image. You can see the difference. This one is the one I blend in the background. This one you can see the sharp edges, but this one is blend. So any color, if I change it to any color, if I any color I'm using it to blend, like you can see it will blend. So all you just have to do use your Photoshop CC to blend. Just other things I use it for, not only this blending of background. You can see this is a background I use for design. I have to blend the two sides so that I can use it in the design. So this is this is it. So I'm just showing you this because during the time I'll be designing a flyer that I did all these things, I will not have to go through this process to show you that this is what I did. It is so I'll just tell you I blend the background using Photoshop CC. So I fade the edges of the background so that it will blend in the background design I want to do so this is for it i will still make another video on how to 
work on use this photoshop cc so the other things i use it for so this is one of the things i use it for majorly is to blend fade the background blend background so do this and it will help you in your design instead of using looking for shadow to use and cover and blend the background so it will this will be easy more easy for you than the other pattern of blending background so i believe this is helpful to you so if this is helpful if you enjoyed this video do where to subscribe and also turn on the notification icon don't forget to like the video god bless you as you do that see you in my next video